From Playground Poker Club in Kahnawake, Quebec, this is Poker Night in America. What's up guys? Hello and welcome to Poker Night Presents, Party Poker Live at Playground Poker Club. I'm your host for the evening, my name is Doug Polk. You may know me from such accomplishments as winning this year's one drop for more than $3.6 million, as well as publishing over 300 YouTube videos. Oh my God, am I a YouTuber? Today we have all of our players buying in for at least $100,000. This includes Antonio Sfondiari and Sam Trickett. Rob Young in for $200,000. Always good to have everyone covered. We should see some fireworks today. And they, we all sat at the table, he called him, sat down, bought in for 100000 and cool. everybody got up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's amazing. That is amazing. That's so he was licking his chops. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Punish and the pros. And yeah. One of the guys <laughs> said, you know, eh, what are you buying? You know, you're buying in for a fight. What are you buying in for a hundred for? You expect to win a lot of money. Oh, well. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'm out. Queen 7 4, a little bit of a piece for a few players here. We see Roberts with a nut flush draw, O'Hayan with middle pair, and Antonio with a middling pair of pocket nines. And Roberts fires out a pretty small bet here, all things considered. 2,700 into the pot. Why is it all hate pros nowadays? It's, it's not, not hating pros, it's just the, uh, the way they are. Uh, you know. There's no, like there's no poker if there's no pros. It's not, it's That's the type true. of pro, I think. Keep the, ga keep the game going, keep the liquidity in the market, that is true. you know. I, I, would I would play with a pro like Antonio or Jean Robert Balland any day. Race, 10,000. Sometimes in poker, you just gotta bluff and hope that they don't have much. It's the type of pro, isn't yeah, it? Well, not be, willing to straddle. But that can be the type of person, can't it? Not necessarily a pro. Like Mosquito. Yeah, it doesn't, the guy doesn't need to be a pro to be a dick, does he? Yeah. That was really effective. Yeah, yeah. that worked out well. <laughs> <laughs> he got through. That worked out well. Rick here on the turn. This is one of those spots in poker where sometimes whoever wants it the most is going to win. No one has too much, and if someone gets aggressive, they might take this one down right here. Checks through. And you got some non pros that are bum hunters, don't you? They leave the table, hit and run, etc. And that is a flush. Bet 20,000? That money's gone. I like that magic trick. O'Hayan's definitely bluffing here. He realizes his pair of sevens is not likely to be good. He's hoping the other players do not have much. Little does he know, he's run right into the goods. Mullen. And that is not what O'Hayan wanted to hear. He lets it go, and Robert's on the board, picking up 44,000 in that pot. That's Lauren. Thank you for raising that, or making that bet. Juice You're welcome. Yeah. Juice still for you, didn't you? it up for you. The last few times in Vegas, I've been to Vegas for like four weeks at a time, and I've never been in the Rio once. Yeah, you're well, not, you're not I, missing uh, much. No, you're not. just, that shows you have some intelligence yeah, yeah, yeah. in the <laughs> anti- <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> They, they honestly don't have poker when the I World Series is like, not going on. It's not a nice atmosphere in there, is it? No. Depressing. Everyone's moaning about bad beats. <laughs> That's an understatement. You can't find yeah. anybody. A couple easy folds getting out of the way, and Antonio's going to open this action with 10-8 offsuit on the button. But Sam Trickett having none of it in the small blind with ace-jack. Getting some, like, amazing hands, Antonio. this. When am I going to get my turn? I know. He's like in every Antonio. hand. He's running good. Now, what does Yong have here in his straddle? Nothing. That's the problem with random hands. They often end up being random. Over to Antonio. A lot in play here. But he's going for the raise. Antonio playing aggressive today. Now, I guess a lot of players, this play would probably work, but Trickett is a bit on the loose and sticky side. We might be seeing a flop. $45,000 pot, two kind of whatever hands. We're playing a little poker. Oh, sorry, 27.
everyone whiffs here on the flop. Queen, six, three, rainbow. Trick of checks over to Antonio. Check. He's gonna check it back. Interesting check here. A lot of times you'd wanna bet the flop, represent aces and kings, but he's gonna play it a little bit more sneaky. Trick on the turn has to know his ace high is not very likely to be good. But should he fire? Small bet here on the turn. And Antonio is going to be priced in. He's got a double gut shot. He can make a straight on a jack or a seven. And if he does hit that hand, he's likely to be paid off by a variety of holdings. Some start at three or four. I like to play a nine. I do too, but a lot of the guys don't. But he's thinking about more than call. He, well, he tends to play with two. This is a beautiful move. Trickett really has yeah. no play other than to fold. He has yeah. ace high. And even though his opponent is not really representing much in the way of strength. I guess I should have checked. Aces and kings might have bet the flop. He can't really do much. Sometimes, even if you think they might be bluffing, you just got to let it go. Really has the best poker in Vegas, I think. You live, you live close to Vegas? I moved there from Los moved Angeles uh, less than a year ago. And what's it, what's it like to live there? Um, if you are 15 minutes away from the Strip, I live on a mountain. Um, I have panoramic Strip views. It's, you know, beautiful. Um, I'm always mm. there. Some nice moves from Antonio there. We'll pick him up this pot. You bet if I check. Yeah, for sure. Huh? For sure, I bet if you check. Who said you have to be dealt a good hand? <laughs> Sometimes you can make your own fortune at the table. Unless you're tricking. Stay tuned and subscribe below. What, they, they can't subscribe? This is television? I'm inside the TV? We'll be online eventually, right? All right, well, we'll be right back with more high stakes action after this. Welcome back to Poker Night Presents Party Poker Live at Playground Poker Club. Straddle back in effect, and then of course, you have to have the re-straddle. This game is now four times as big as it was before. $1,800 in the pot pre-flop, and we haven't even seen our cards yet. I stayed at the Four Seasons last year. It was a nice room, but it was a bit remote. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Off the beaten track. Safadine yeah. finally gained the mix here with the 9 8 suited, but he's gonna run into a couple of big hands, pocket jacks yeah, behind, and king yeah. queen as well no. for Trickett. Takes forever in a day to get anywhere in the casino. I like at, the cafe as well, LA. the area cafe. Well. Yeah, the cafe, but there's also some great, um, there's a Jean Georges, there's a. Um, Trick again, a little tricky here. Going for the three bet, trying to take this pot down pre-flop, but not gonna happen against pocket jacks. Safadine might get out of the way, but there's no way O'Hayan's going anywhere. Oh, you're quite exciting life, don't you? What's that? You're quite an exciting life. It's fun. Well, I have uh, several companies, so I can, um, I have the freedom to, to do what I want. Do you like, do you like tournaments or? I, I do. I do like tournaments. Um, I never thought I would, but um, it's kind of your money is paid. It's sunk cost at that point, and so it's just kind of mono on mono at the table. So well, it doesn't matter uh, how much you get him. Yeah. Ohane makes the call. Get the pro, man. Punish him. PTP. Punish the pro. And we're taking a flop. Please low cards. Please low cards is what Ohane's thinking. Low cards it is. Hard to be too afraid of this board. He's only behind if Sam Trickett either has a hand like 8-7 suited or an over pair that re-raised preflop. Looks like Trickett's gonna try and continue his story here saying that he does have an over pair. He could get a fold, or if he does get a call, he might hit a king or queen on later streets. O'Hayan with jacks, though, makes the call. And the turn is a jack. This is a phenomenal card for O'Hayan. He has top set, and now he has to think about getting paid. Trickett also picks up a flush draw, though. We could see some fireworks here. Both players have pretty solid hands, and if Trickett wants to make a move, this is a great spot to do it. 
but not when you're up against pocket jacks. Yeah, because what happens is well, we don't have quite a boat over boat here, but we do have a flush draw versus set. Uh, it's pretty close. I'll be there until four in the morning, and all of a back. sudden I'm not up anymore. You're not having fun anymore, yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. No, you're not having fun, and you're down. You took a big win and turned it into a loss. All you had to do was get up. Right. I've done that so many times, been winning and dumped it off. Yeah. And, and it doesn't matter whether it was same that. Blackjack, same blackjack, yeah. same right. Set over set or boat over boat or straight flush you ran into. Doesn't but matter. Still, just wish you had gotten up. Mullin. Is there a raise all this? Fold. Fold. God, I would have had the nuts. God. I was going to bluff it off again. Am I allowed to see the river? Just peel it off. Who cares? Nuts. I would have had the nutters. Ugh. We feel so bad for you, Antonio. Why do they put them in the spot like that? It's so they can read the cards. We're back in play at a paltry $100, $200 blinds. We have a call from O'Hayan with the 4-3 off, and Antonio is going to bump it up with the A7 suited. It's nice to raise with these kinds of hands every now and then so you can make some nut flushes and put some pressure on your opponents. I knew I got a good hand on the button. But I'll tell you when it's not going to work, when you run into pocket rockets. Now, if I knew Antonio, and I do, he's going nowhere against this. He has two of the five cards necessary for a flush, and Antonio loves flushes. What does surprise me is O'Hayan comes along with 4-3 offsuit. That's a garbage hand. You can just get out of there, man. And all of a sudden, cracking aces starts to look like a real threat. Little does he know Antonio has the nut flush draw. All it takes is one more club to move into the lead. Check. Interestingly, Yong checks it back on the flop. Queen of Spades on the turn does not help anyone. Now Yong is going to have to bet and start to get some value. Bet. 5,000. I would say a lot of players would like to call here in Antonio's shoes. But the thing is, he's been playing aggressive today and putting in some raises, so maybe we'll see him make a move. Don't be a hero, Antonio. Call it is, and let's take a river. Offsuit five, not the card Esfandiari is looking for, but maybe he won't believe the Yang has anything at all. Ten. Ten thousand. He played a bit tricky on the flop, checking it back with the aces. Normally, you just bet the flop if you have the overpair. But sometimes doing this can be a good play. It makes you tricky to play against and tough to read. Raise. There's the Antonio that I know and love. Coming in for the check raise on the river. Dropping the hammer. Jan can't feel too happy about the situation. But he does have pocket aces. And he's up against someone that is a very aggressive player. What will he do with his overpair? Oh, I don't think you got it in here. We'll pass aces. Ooh. <laughs> I just don't think you got it in here. It does. Oh, good, good bluff, he did it. Sometimes you get one through. Antonio Espondiari, the magician. Let's see if he's got any more tricks up his sleeves after this. Welcome back to Poker Night Presents Party Poker Live at Playground Poker Club. It's still me, Doug Polk. That's right, you're stuck with me. But well, let's jump back into the action. Didn't I just take the big blind? As you said. Yeah, you're, you're no blind by now. Oh, oh, oh. Ohan will be the only blind in this hand. He's paying the small blind, big blind, and the ante in order to enter the action after missing the last hand. Six on the river, yeah. Six on the river? No, five, five on the river. Is. Seven, eight got there. Ten jack missed. I, I, I didn't think you had a, you had like sixes. I thought you would have back, like some, done something with Cold. Kind of bad leather term is sixes or something. I could just check Cold. it. Oh, hand with a 6-4 off. We've got some really Aces. quality holdings here pre-flop. Little does Trick and know how far ahead he mm. truly is. Until the flop comes. And it looks like a safe flop in Trick and Shoes. 
Not likely to be up against higher pairs. Can't check. Hard to have a four, but you know what? Sometimes they have it. And O'Hayan leads out for 1,300 into Trekka. I should have made it 50, Fold. make it look even more fishy. Not much reason to raise in Trickett's shoes. Fold. He'll make the call, and Roberts gets out of the way. He had a draw. Jack Diamond's on the turn to neutral card. O'Hayan's probably gonna continue to pound for value here. When you have good hands in poker, usually bet and try and build that pot, especially against opponents that get a little bit sticky, like Sam Trickett. Sam going nowhere with the pocket sevens. Unless this river is a seven, he will be losing quite a large pot. A three isn't a very good card for Trickett because if his opponent had a three and was betting, he now is a full house. What will Trickett do? Call. That's gonna Plus. do it. Drawing dead the whole hand again. Almost dead. He had one seven left in the deck. It's the worst river, I guess. Did you like the flop? Yeah? Huh? Did you like the flop? Yeah, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Nice when you have a good game. I had to kind of take it easy yeah. last year because I was getting married like five days after. Yeah, I got it. But it was, I didn't really Thank nail it if I'm honest. Who's Big Blaine? Oh, Frenchie. Frenchie! You're playing high, so it's easy for me to fold. Frenchie! You'll loosen up. Seven, Antonio with a needle before he comes in for a raise with Ace 5 suited. They don't know about my Frenchie when he's losing. You're right. They only know about him when he's winning. It's the best show in town. Cool. I'm dying to play hands. <laughs> dying. <laughs> and our two Titus players, Kerpen and Safadine, get out of the way. Me and my English mate. Titus right, guys. Remember that. Ten, ten, five. Two pair for Antonio. It's like the last flop. And nothing for Yong. Now you got to float. I know standard procedure. Okay. See what comes next, and then. See if you can wrap it, the whole BS. I know, it's not my first rodeo. <laughs> Antonio baiting him into a call. Did you write a book? I'm starting to like you actually now. You what? I didn't like you at first, but I'm starting to <laughs> like you. Now you're starting to like me? Uh, really? <laughs> There's yeah. someone that does not like Antonio? It's also okay Wait, to give up. Just it. save the, impossible. you know, whatever money's gonna cost, this and that. It's always that. I've never yeah. seen well, anybody that does now. not like Antonio. No, but if nobody likes the guy that won 18 million in a tournament. <laughs> Before they meet him. <laughs> yeah. I get it all the time. Like, I thought you was going to be a prick, but you're actually all right. I'm like, okay, nice. Very good. How judgmental of you. <laughs> I was going to find out where I am. I love this, by the way. The table talk, oh. the speech, the I like you, oh, my friend. Oh, look. And then he's, a raise. He's quiet now. Oh, this is the first time he's good. stopped caught. Antonio makes the call. Yang needs a king or a seven. That good. is not a king or a seven. Antonio yeah. improves to a full house. That a five is good. But Yang is saying he has a ten. I bet you're right. <laughs> so if he wants to continue to sell the story and fire two more streets, maybe he gets Antonio off of it. But honestly, I just can't see that happening. Check. Yang checks back. Jack River. Now, Antonio knows Yong is weak. If he had a strong hand, he'd bet the turn. So the question is, how can he make the most money? He's going to check and let Yong have one last shot to try and fire. Looks like that might work out. That's 50,000. The plot thickens, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the plot thickens. I am it's not often to... I lay down full houses. I am starting to like you, though. <laughs> It's not often I lay down too far. I mean, it's like you're making it so obvious that you have it that it's starting to make me think you don't have it. <laughs> you know? This is almost a three times the pot bet. He's saying he has a 10. And now Antonio is put into a terrible situation. But at the end of the day, he does have a full house. And Antonio does not like the fold button. Antonio throws the chips at his opponent, but, cool. but is good. So those are coming right back. And that, my friends, was an over $100,000 pot.
Wow. Wow. Nice, bro. I mean, you were gonna look like a hero or like a ding dong. Hero or a zero? You were, you were, you were, you were 50 50. All right, that's it for tonight. But before we go, as always, the chip counts. After playing so far, we see Antonio up a cool 50,000. Sam Trickett getting buried down 133,000. And Lauren Roberts with a surprising 100K win so far. We're going to have to see if that holds up. Next time on Poker Night Presents, Party Poker Live at Playground Poker Club, Antonio Esfandiari likes to use all his time, Oreo Hayen uses none of his time, and Francois Safadine flops quads versus a royal flush draw. If you want more Poker Night, you can find us on social media, including Twitch and YouTube, where you can find full-length episodes, live streams, and exclusive content. Also, don't forget to download our free poker app. You and your friends can have your very own poker night, as well as a chance to win a seat in our show. Search for us in the App Store and download it today. From everyone here at Poker Night, I'm Doug Paul. Wow. I mean, you were gonna look like a hero or like a ding dong. Hero or a zero? You were you were you were you were 50-50. Are we taking a break? A break? Yeah. yeah. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal, Sit and Go 2.0, and Chem Playing Cards.